Are you ready to record your Federation Festival audition? All right. The first thing we have to do is to get you ready. Let's go. Before Federation Festival, it's important to get dressed up. Not like that. Ah. Oh. Much better. Next, we have to make sure we have the phone in the right place. One common mistake is to position the phone too close to the player so that they look like the headless horseman. The only reason your head shouldn't appear in the video is if you actually don't have one. It's also important to make sure you have enough light. But not too much light. Students who are vampires will be allowed to record in darkened conditions. Correct positioning of the phone will look something like this. You can clearly see the student's head and hands, and the scene is well lit, but not overlit. The phone is positioned at about the judge's eye level. Not too high, not too low. Use a tripod phone mount if you have one available to keep your phone steady. If you don't have one, just find something about that height to place your phone on to keep everything really steady so you make the best recording possible. For students auditioning with voice or violin, the judge just needs to see you from the torso up. For other instrumentalists, just be sure the judge has a great view of both you and your instrument. For memorized events, make sure you don't have any music on the music desk of your piano or on a music stand anywhere near you so the judge knows you're playing from memory. Next, you'll need to download the Heart Out app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll need to create an account by tapping Don't Have an Account? Register. After you signify that you're at least 18 years old or you have your parent or guardian's permission, you'll need to enter some basic information about yourself, such as your name and your email address and the password you'd like to use. It's really important that you put in your email address correctly, so be sure to double check it before moving on from this step. The name and email address you put in during this step should be the parents or teachers, whoever is filming on their device, not the students. Something that's really important to remember is only to use one login per device. You can enter multiple event codes under the same login. That's no problem. However, if you log out, any auditions that you've recorded but not submitted will be erased. So it's just best to use only one login per device. Next, tap on Private Auditions and then New Audition. You'll need to enter an invitation code. For us, it is WFMC21. Be sure to capitalize the WFMC. Next, you'll enter your ID number that you received from your teacher. You will notice that for events that have a required piece and a choice piece, you're actually going to get two different numbers. This is really important because it allows you to have five tries at recording each piece. Be sure you type in your code accurately. If you have any trouble whatsoever, you can always use the chat feature to ask for help 24 hours a day, seven days a week by visiting heartout.io. After you enter your ID code, Heartout will show you the event you're about to audition for. If you're auditioning for multiple events, make sure that the event shown on the screen is the one you think you're about to play. Next to contest questions, tap answer. Here's where you're going to upload a PDF copy of the score of your music for the judge to see. Unfortunately, we can't show you that feature yet, but we will make sure we send more information as soon as that feature has been implemented. The next thing you'll want to try to do is to make a test recording. Make sure you have your phone in the sideways or landscape orientation as you make your test video. Make sure that the player is visible, the lighting is good, the sound is good. Everything is just how you want it to be when you play that audition for the judge. You can make as many test recordings as you want until you get it just how you want it. When you feel like you're ready, tap Start Your Audition. Heart Out will provide you with some really important reminders, checking to be sure you have enough battery power, noticing that you cannot edit your auditions and there are no do-overs after you've used your five attempts. Be sure you put your phone or device into airplane mode and turn off Wi-Fi so that you won't be interrupted by a text or a TikTok message from your pet chimpanzee while you're recording. Tap the heart to start playing your heart out and record your Federation audition. 
As you begin your audition, hold up your original copy for the judge to see, and then say your name, slowly, so the judge can make sure they have the right person's papers. Tap the square to stop when you're finished. On the next page, you can review your performance to see how you did. If you were super happy with it, click Select and then Upload and Finish to send it to the judge. However, if there were some things you wanted to do differently, you still have four more attempts to make another try at it. Keep working until you've used up all your attempts or until you find one that you're really happy with. And then click Select and Upload and Finish to send your video to the judge. After the audition window closes on March 15th, judges around our state will be reviewing your performance and will fill out your rating sheet. The rating sheets will be returned to the teachers via email after all the judges have finished. Good luck and thanks for participating in this year's Federation Festival auditions.